Well, Adam, today is William Flynn's 41st birthday. He spent more time in prison than he has in society, but today he's getting a second chance at freedom. As the family of murder victim Greg Smart watched from the front row of the hearing room, the man who killed him almost 25 years ago appeared before the parole board by phone from a prison in Maine. William Flynn made it clear that he knows what he did was wrong and realizes how many people he has impacted. Yeah, I know that nothing I can say here today will be of comfort to the Smart family, but at the very least, I sincerely hope that this will be the last time that they have to be publicly reminded of their grief. And I am truly sorry for the pain that I have caused them. It was May 1st, 1990, when Flynn made Smart kneel down in the hallway of his dairy apartment, put a gun to his head, and shot him to death. Prosecutors say the crime was orchestrated by Greg's wife, Pam Smart, who was convicted of accomplice to first degree murder and is spending life behind bars. Greg's cousin spoke about a life that was unfulfilled. There are a lot of should have been that Greg was not here for. Most importantly, Greg should have been holding his mother's hand when she took her last breath. Greg should have been by his father's side as he fought his courageous battle with cancer. Parole board member Donna Sytek called Flynn's incarceration remarkable, noting he has received a college degree and has been a model inmate during his two and a half decades behind bars. Flynn gave thoughtful answers to all their questions and apologized several times to the Smart family. I, I do feel a uh, sense of responsibility to, um, you know, continually try to, to balance those scales that, that can't be balanced. And uh, I will try to do something with my life that, that matters and, and makes a difference. Flynn will be eligible for release on June 4th. His parole plan is that he will live in Maine with his wife, Kelly, whom he married while he was serving his sentence. Reporting live in Concord, I'm Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.